innovator, creating new instruments and new ways to notate and represent his music visually. This is actually a language that I needed to look at. You know, this is the listen part. I needed to find a way to percussion. This is three main languages that you might use. Percussive elements, Bosandis, uh, and uh, melodic elements, but combined with textures. So this was, those were the three things that I had to somehow find a way to visualize. Mm -hmm. Basically, I took an imagination of that and scaled it to high the pitch and then uh, uh, measured each of the objects to see. And the point of the, the point of objects, the point of the objects were basically percussion. The lines turned into the Sundays for strings, just rising and falling tones. And then I took the lines and also projected them on the ground and had musicians move in the space. So it also doubled the function, not only being the Sundays, but also. This instrument is an, actually an invention, an innovation I made in Singapore a few years ago, and uh, it's basically a uh, uh, trumpet hybrid with a trombone slide. So it's a trumpet trombone hybrid. And the purpose of this is to basically to bend notes in microtonal music. Basically, the sound goes through different channels, and depending on how combinations have always come down here, unless you do what I just did. So once you do that, sound comes out of here or here. Because you disconnect it. You press that valve down, then the channel is disconnected. So mm -hmm. And that would happen with this and this. So for a while, I just uh, I just enjoyed the, the uh, melodic forms because this is an overtone series, and the timbre of it is more like a wooden flute. This is more metallic. <laughs> So I played this instrument, which it has this antiphonal call answer, sound from the bell, sound from the disconnected slide. It had a percussive and a call answer thing for a while, until I went into larger spaces, so, and uh, more conventional spaces, and then I had to channel the sound. I found a tube, which was actually by accident on the ground, which was used to siphon gasoline in Amsterdam. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 